there, welcome back. We are starting off in a child's pose for today's flow. Make your way there, have your knees the width of your mat, bring your big toes to touch, sink those hips towards your heels as you walk your palms towards the top of your space, and bring your forehead towards the mat. Your forehead does not have to touch the mat, but if it does, gently rest there. Reach your fingertips just a little bit more towards the top of your space as you elongate through your spine and sink your hips just a little bit deeper. Today we are focusing on sending some love and compassion to the low back. Keep that in mind as we move through this practice. When you're ready, push yourself up out of your child's pose. Bring the knees close together. Sit your hips on top of your heels. Take a different seated variation if this does not feel good for your body. On your inhale, reach both your arms high above your head. Take a hold of your left wrist. Exhale, side bend over to the right side. Gently pull on that left arm. Inhale, come to center, switch it out. Take a hold of your right wrist and exhale, side bend over to the left. Inhale to center, exhale, release. Come into a tabletop position. Shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Inhale, cow pose, drop the belly, lift your gaze. Exhale, cat, round through the spine, push the ground away from you. Inhale, cow, drop the belly. Exhale, cat, round through your spine. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Come back to tabletop. Widen your knees as if you are setting up for a child's pose and gently sink those hips towards your heels. As you inhale, come back into a tabletop position. Exhale, sink into your child's. Continue this flow between your tabletop and child's pose, pairing with your inhales and exhales. Feeling your body and your spine move through both of these poses. All right, come back to tabletop. Drop down to your belly and lift yourself up onto your forearms. So your legs are extending long behind you. Your elbows are underneath your shoulders. Your forearms are parallel with one another. We are in Sphinx Pose. Ground down through your forearms and through your hip bones. A slight lift to the chest. Inhale. And exhale. Come to a half frog on the right side. Bend through your right knee. Bring that knee in line with your right hip and make sure your right foot is directly below and in line with your right knee as well. Hold here for two deep breaths. Still pressing into those forearms. Release the right leg back to meet the left when you're ready and switch it out. Come to a half frog on the left side. Left knee is bent and in line with your left hip. And again, two deep breaths. When you're ready, release out of your half frog and push yourself up and back into a downward dog. Lift those hips towards the sky, press through all four corners, and pedal out through your legs. 
bend one knee at a time bring some awareness towards the hamstrings and towards your legs in general when you're ready come back to your down dog inhale reach the right leg all the way up exhale step the right foot between your palms drop the left knee down inhale arms up modified crescent lunge exhale inhale and as you exhale plant your left palm to the mat on the left side of your right foot as you reach the right arm all the way up nice twist here great job release the right arm down to frame the right foot as well then lift the left knee off the mat we are in low lunge as you inhale lift yourself up right into your warrior two so the left foot spins down and open right knee stacked over right ankle arms are nice and strong at a t great job inhale straighten out your right leg exhale right palm comes to right shin left arm towards the sky triangle pose reach through that left arm bring space to your back inhale lift your arms above your head as you shift your feet to both face the left side facing forward bring your hands to your hips and as you exhale fold all the way down into a wide forward fold great job now from here you can take any stretches that you would like that would feel good in your body i am taking a gentle twist by planting one palm down towards the center underneath my nose and lifting the opposite arm up take what would feel good for you today once you're ready shift yourself towards the top of your space to frame your right foot then move the right foot back come into your downward dog inhale shift forward high plank exhale lower to belly inhale cobra exhale downward dog let's take that on the left side inhale reach your left leg all the way up exhale step it through between your palms right knee comes to mat inhale lift your arms high above your head modified crescent exhale inhale exhale come to that gentle twist plant your right palm down as the left arm is reaching all the way towards the sky really lift through those fingertips release the left arm back down plant it on the left side of your left foot lift the right knee off the mat we are in a low lunge on your inhale lift yourself up into a warrior two so right foot spins down and open arms are at a t left knee stacked over left ankle great job on your inhale straighten your left leg as you exhale triangle pose left palm to left shin right arm towards the sky inhale reach those arms high above your head set yourself up for wide forward fold right toes towards the right side of the mat as you exhale fold forward and again take whatever stretches would feel good for you and your body explore what would feel good within those hamstrings and hips you can take the same thing you took on the other side or maybe you switch it up all right begin to shift forward frame the left foot step the left foot back come to your down dog inhale high plank exhale lower inhale cobra exhale downward dog 
Come to the tops of your toes, look between your hands, and begin to walk your feet towards your palms. Come to a forward fold. Then widen your stance slightly. Bend your knees so much that your chest falls on top of your thighs. Take a hold of opposite elbows and really let your torso, head, and neck fall heavy. You can sway side to side if that would feel good. This is ragdoll pose. This pose is great for bringing some awareness and sensation into our low back. Release out of your ragdoll pose. Begin to step your feet towards the back of your space. Come back into your down dog. Inhale, right leg lifts all the way up. Exhale, step it through between your palms. Left knee drops down. Inhale, lift the arms, modified crescent. Exhale, come into your twist. Left palm plants as the right arm reaches up. Great job, bring the right arm back down. Lift the left knee off the mat, low lunge. Spin the left foot down and open. Inhale, lift up, come into your warrior two. Inhale, straighten the right leg. Exhale, triangle. Right palm to right shin, left arm towards the sky. Inhale, reach all the way up, feet towards the left side. Exhale, come into your wide forward fold. Again, take whatever stretches you would like. Release wherever you are. Shift yourself forward to frame the right leg. Step the right foot back. Inhale, shift forward, high plank. Exhale, lower to belly or halfway to chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or take up dog. Remember thighs are lifted off the mat in up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Left side. Inhale, reach the left leg all the way up. Exhale, step it through. Right knee comes down to the mat. Inhale, modified crescent lunge. Exhale, come to your twist. Plant the right palm down as you reach the left arm up. Release the left palm back to the mat. Right knee comes off the mat. We are in low lunge. Spin the right foot down and open. Prepare for warrior two. Inhale, lift, warrior two. Inhale, straighten that left leg. Exhale, triangle pose. Left palm to left shin. Open up through your chest and right side body. Inhale, lift those arms all the way up. Bring those feet to face towards the right side. Exhale, hands to hips as you fold forward. Remember, this is your time to play around. Explore a little bit. Maybe if you're feeling up for it, you can take a headstand if that is in your practice. Wherever you are, honoring yourself and what is calling to you today. Begin to release out. Shift yourself forward, frame the left foot. Plant the palms inside of your left foot. Move the left foot slightly over to the left side. Then step the right foot forward. Come to a malasana squat or yogi squat. So both knees are bent, our hips are sinking towards the ground. You can move side to side or come to stillness. Palms can be at your heart center. Maybe come to your tippy toes. 
Then gently sit yourself down onto your mat. Make your way onto your back, preparing for bridge pose. Arms are long by your side. Knees are bent towards the sky, soles of the feet are planted. As you inhale, lift those hips towards the sky, press the feet into the ground. Exhale, slowly lower down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, slowly lower. Try to keep those knees in line with your hips. Take a couple rounds with your breath. After you've taken a few rounds, extend the left leg down long, right knee comes close to your chest, hands are on your knee or shin, move that right leg side to side for a moment. If you want a deeper hip opener, you can let that right leg fall open to the right side for just a second. Alright, come back to center, switch the legs out, right leg down long, left knee close to your chest. Same option on this side for that deeper hip opener. Let that left knee and leg fall open to the left side for just a moment. Come back to center, bring the right knee close to your chest to meet the left in a tiny ball for just a second. Before you extend your legs straight up towards the sky, waterfall pose. Let your arms fall down by your side. Ground down through your low back. Come back to a tiny ball. Rock yourself forward and back meet in a comfortable seat at the top of your space nice long spine ending our practice with two deep breaths together bring your left palm to your heart right palm to your belly and gently close your eyes take a deep inhale and exhale Bring your palms to touch at your heart center. Inhale, bring your thumbs to the space between your eyebrows. As you exhale, bow forward with love and compassion towards yourself and this practice. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you enjoyed this flow. Appreciate this beautiful sunset that I am about to show you.